Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I tame this vein. Just how I style my hair, how I curl my hair. I washed it this morning. This is it air dried. Um, it's air dried completely all the way through. I have not taken a brush through it or anything yet. Well, when I got out of the shower, I took a brush through it, but I have not otherwise as it's dried. So I am going to brush it and then curl it and show you guys how I get my everyday curls. I'm a hairdresser. I don't know if any of you know that, but if you are new to my channel, welcome. I am a hairdresser and a makeup artist in Arizona. I would love to have you join my channel and subscribe. I am just getting back into the whole filming thing. With that being said, a lot of people who sit in my chair, they think they have hair like mine or crazy hair or even straight hair. People think that like they have to blow dry their hair and do all these steps before they can curl it or straighten it. I could take a curling iron or straightener through my hair like this and straighten it completely um, without the blow dryer. The blow dryer does help some with frizz for straightening, but I honestly don't see the point in the added heat unless you want that blowout look. If you want the whole blowout and you're not gonna take a curling iron or a flat iron to it, then by all means use the blow dryer. But for me, I don't want all of that heat damage on my hair, so I like to let my hair air dry and then go in with a curling iron or a flat iron. I'm going to show you guys how I get my everyday beachy curls. Also, I just filmed this makeup look. Please check out my makeup tutorial as well on this look. This is my everyday mom makeup. So yeah, let's jump right into the hair. Start by brushing it out. Ever since becoming a mom, I had the postpartum hair loss pretty bad. But now that it's going back in, I have like all these weird little like curly, curly baby, weird short hair. <laughs> I don't know. It's like all these weird little like funky pieces of hair and they just do whatever they want. I always section out my hair because I have a ton of hair. Some people do not have to do this step. I, however, do. And I always, 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 always use Hot Off The Press by Paul Mitchell or any type of heat protecting spray. And then I brush or comb through. And I always use a wet brush because they're just amazing. They really, really do save your hair. I take one layer through of heat and then I curl. I start at the top and flick it around and then I let it sit for a second and then I unravel it and pull down. So the ends are still kind of straight. Sometimes I do switch it up which way the curls are going. Usually I don't. I prefer to have my curls going the same direction. By the way, in case you guys are wondering, I'm using the Paul Mitchell Pro Tools. Oh, it's all off of here. It's all rubbed off. This is their one inch. This is their like mermaid unicorn collection. I absolutely love this thing. It's my favorite, favorite curling iron that I've used to date. And usually I'm like a hot tools fanatic, but this definitely changed me. Mm -hmm. 
some curls do end up being curlier than others and that is fine you do not want this look to be super perfect you want every piece to be curled but not perfectly curled and not all the same some pieces will be curlier some pieces will be straighter it's just a variation throughout the hair I have made it to the very top of my head. I'm going to take this out of the clip. I like to give the ends a really good spray and then everything else. Separate it where my part is. When I get to the top, um, I just I do the same thing all around, but I take a little bit smaller sections in the bang area and I try to um, lift it. I start, I kind of try to do it on like the top of my head, if that makes sense. That way I have um, some volume up there. Next section, same thing. and so on around the rest of the head. For this back piece, um, I like to come around to my right side and do it from the back. I start flipping it around the curling iron, like so. Topped. So you can see how like the curl is born in the center and then the ends or more of a wave. When you do this from the top and you're wrapping it around the, the curling iron like that, it helps you have a curl from the top. A lot of people just go in and they take, here let me show you. They take it all the way down to the bottom and curl. And when you do that, you're taking all the volume out of your hair and you're just giving yourself a curl at the very ends of your hair. And that's why your hair is not holding the curl all day either. So just something to think about. I know it's hard to learn how to do something different to your hair because it feels awkward but it really is like game changer. This is what I'm left with. This head of hair that's just like, I look like I have dog ears, I look crazy. You really want to brush this out. I'm gonna let it cool for a second before I brush it out. That way it holds better, but you don't want to leave it like this. You don't want to do that. Sometimes I like to go back over a couple pieces if I feel like they're weird. Let me show you guys the back. Let's brush this baby out. I just want to 
gently brush through it and you want to do this with a soft flexible bristled brush that isn't going to frizz your hair or rip out your hair and cause damage to your hair okay and here is the after so this is it brushed out you can see how soft and beachy and smooth it is now I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how I get my everyday beachy waves. If you did, please like this video, share it with your friends. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. I would love to have you. Stay tuned for my next video and I hope this was helpful and I will see you in my next one. Bye. All right, this is my finished hair and makeup. Got little arrows on it and of course my favorite color.